So for the very first time, a track in the Midwest that has been dying to get a Cup Series event finally got one onto the schedule. They head there this weekend. Let's preview Iowa Speedway. Hello everyone, my name is Kyle aka Racing Boy Short and this is my channel where I talk NASCAR, NASCAR news and everything NASCAR. If you haven't already, I would appreciate you subscribing to the channel. I do multiple NASCAR videos throughout the week. Also, give me your thoughts on this video. What do you think about this upcoming race at Iowa Speedway? Are you excited for it? You feeling a little bit weary about the repave? Let me know down below. Plus, give me any improvements I can make on the channel. So this weekend, it's Iowa Speedway. I'm, I'm very excited to see this race. This race pretty much sold out immediately when they put the tickets out for sale. When it got announced to be on this year's schedule last year, I think a lot of NASCAR fans that have been around for a long time, especially those Midwestern fans, were very excited. Iowa Speedway has always seemed to be a very popular track with fans. They always do great events for the IndyCar Series at Iowa Speedway. Back when the Xfinity Series and the Truck Series used to go there, every year they used to get a good amount of fans, and it seemed like a good experience for the fans in that area. And in the mid-2000s, early 2010s, there was pretty much begging from the NASCAR community and the Midwesterners that they should add Iowa Speedway to the schedule. And then last year, in the fall, when they announced the schedule, Iowa Speedway is getting their very first Cup Series date. It was very exciting news because Iowa Speedway is a very different racetrack. It runs kind of like a short track. I wouldn't say it is a short track, but it runs kind of like a short track. But at the same time, it's multi-groove. You can run all the way at the bottom. You can run all the way at the top, the middle lane. It is a quite an enjoyable racetrack to drive on an iRacing at least and it's always seemed that way in real life as well well a couple of weeks ago we had a tire test at iowa speedway to make sure we have a good tire for the race weekend upcoming and that's when we found out that iowa speedway actually had a partial repave and by partial i really mean partial so what had happened was apparently they did not have enough time because they cannot pave the track in the winter months they were only able to get half of the turns done the bottom half if anything of both one and two and three and four overall i'm very intrigued on how this track is going to perform and race if you look back and i'll put it in, i'll put it in the description if you look back at my video where i'm talking about the repave the three drivers that participated in the repave gave different opinions, that being Kyle Larson, Christopher Bell, and Brad Keselowski. But ultimately, I think this is going to be a bottom feeder track throughout the weekend, not just for the Cup Series event, but also for the Xfinity Series race as well. But especially in the Cup Series, with this car, it's just so difficult to pass to begin with. And then you're making a track where it's purely bottom line dominant it's going to be really difficult for those cup cars to pass the xfinity cars will have a little better time but i think it's gonna be really difficult for them as well but i'm interested i'm interested to see how it plays out i was also hearing during the test that there was a the the rubber off the tires was balling up and it was really it was acting kind of like bristol i don't know if that was the certain conditions or whatever the case may be but it's just something to keep an eye out for. The tires could potentially save the race on Sunday, depending on how they react to this new surface. Like I said, I'm not sure if they're bringing the Bristol tire. It could have just been a new surface, hot day, and it just that's what tore up the tires. But we'll have to find out on Sunday if that is the case. Just something to really keep your eyes open for. I really wanted to add this in there. My bad, I am a little bit late on the preview video this week, so I thought I'd add in this little part right here because we have finished up practice and qualifying. We had a couple of drivers 
with issues in practice, going to a backup car, including Christopher Bell. I will be talking more about Christopher Bell towards the end of the video. But it looked like during practice and qualifying, drivers really struggled with grip on this new smooth surface on the bottom part of the racetrack at Iowa. It seems like the tires could be potentially a problem or it could be, to be potentially like Bristol or I'm not sure. I'm not sure exactly what's going to happen yet with the tires, but the tires is a very interesting story as well. Kyle Larson is on the pole. Qualifying was very weird for this week's event, but I digress. It's, I'm hoping it's a good race on Sunday. Right before I get to my favorites, I just want to get a couple of final thoughts about Iowa Speedway. I really like this racetrack. I just think it is quite disappointing that because honestly, it doesn't even look good either. It, it looks awful. It's all it's it looks like a, a highway that's been like halfway done. It's it doesn't look that great, unfortunately. And this is their first event on the Cup Series, and it's not on the greatest surface. Doesn't look the greatest. I'm really hoping the tires can save the day for Iowa because there is a lot of amazing, great fans that travel out to Iowa Speedway. A lot of passionate racing and motorsport fans out there i've never been there but anything i hear anything i see those fans in that area seem to be more passionate about racing anywhere else in the country because you got a bunch of dirt racing diehards you got a lot of indycar diehards in that area especially and nascar i feel like that's the most popular series racing wise in america and especially this weekend, those fans are going to be pumped. Like I said at the very beginning of the video, they sold out pretty much immediately when it comes to the Cup Series event. They even sold out the ARCA race. That is insane. I'm really looking forward to seeing what the track is able to produce racing-wise for each event during the weekend. All right, let's get to my favorites for the race. And I think this is a pretty much an open book. Like I said, this is a... A weird surface. Only half of the corners have been repaved. The straightaways are the same. The top half of the corners are the same. So it's pretty much a new track in a way. I think this race is going to be most dependent on the driver's pure ability and if the team is able to nail a setup. Because this, this weekend at Iowa is probably the most difficult setup to nail throughout the whole season. Because we just don't really know what to expect with the half-done new surface. NAS the NASCAR Cup Series has never raced at Iowa Speedway. I guess you can maybe take some Richmond notes into it a little bit. But at this point, it's not even really like Richmond at all. That all being said, it being new and unknown, the first favorite I have to name. The internet will kill me if I don't say this. Joey Logano. Joey Logano. He always seems to perform when it's a new surface, a new track joining the Cup Series. Anything new, you can count Joey Logano in the mix for the win. Another driver I would put on that list is actually Martin Trex Jr. Coming fresh off, announcing his retirement. I really think that he wants to finish off this season strong. I know he wants to win a championship in his last year. Go out on top and this could be a big week for him he can go from announcing his retirement to sunday getting his first win on the cup series schedule then i would include all three drivers that participated in the tire test in the favorites we saw what joey logano was able to do in the all-star race with all that testing time he had with the goodyear tire test he was dominant ty gibbs was also part of that Wilkesboro tire test, and he dominated the open. So it's I would keep an eye out on all three of those drivers that were in the tire test. I'm talking once again about Kyle Larson, Christopher Bell, and Brad Keselowski. Three drivers to watch out for on Sunday. And one more driver before I make my picks. I think this race is going to require a certain amount of aggression, whether that's blocking, whether that's moving someone out of the way. It's going to take a certain level of aggression to win this race with the way the surface is, I believe. This this could change with the tires and how the weather is outside. But I would consider Ross Chastain 
one of the big favorites at Iowa Speedway. Ross Chastain does have experience at the track. Not every driver in the field has experience at Iowa Speedway. He has had experience at Iowa Speedway in the Xfinity Series. But that's not at all why I'm considering him one of the favorites. Like I said, you're going to need a certain level of aggression to compete for this victory. And I don't think there's anybody in this sport that's better at being aggressive and better at blocking than Ross Chastain. So I would watch out for Ross Chastain to win this race and be competing for the win all race long. But who is my pick? With this pick, I have to go with a driver that was part of that tire test. He has been very, very successful here in the Xfinity Series. And overall, on this track type, he really seems to perform, even though Iowa is kind of a different beast this weekend. I would have to name my favorite to be Christopher Bell. Christopher Bell got a bunch of laps on this track in the tire test. He seems to have a good amount of success at Iowa in his history and at tracks to this degree. But it was really hard for me to decide if I wanted him or Larson. Larson, he is going to be a big competitor for this win as well. I think one of those drivers from the tire test is going to do it. And it's been Gibbs versus Hendrick throughout most of the season over the last couple of weeks, maybe the last month, month and a half at this point that Ford has really begun to pick it up. But it's been Chevy versus Toyota, Hendrick versus Gibbs pretty much week in and week out. And I think that's going to be the big battle for the win. You're going to have the two dirt guys of Bell and Young Money, Kyle Larson and Christopher Bell competing for the win at Iowa Speedway. And I think Christopher Bell will get another win on the year. And the underdog pick. I think the underdog pick is really interesting this weekend. With this being a new track, a new surface to a certain degree, I think this opens up the door for a lot of different drivers to win this race. I would consider 20, maybe 25 drivers that have a real shot at winning on Sunday. But that being said, I'm going to pick a driver who hasn't won since the Daytona 500 last year. And has been really successful in the Xfinity Series at Iowa. I think some people would probably consider him to be maybe the best driver at Iowa in the Xfinity Series. And that would be Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Oh, the Kyle Busch fan saying Ricky Stenhouse Jr. You gotta, you gotta believe him. You gotta believe him. Stenhouse has had a lot of success at Iowa Speedway. Like I said, there is a lot of differences with the racetrack now than it was then. But there is... Some things that are similar to the same. And like I said, I think this opens up the gate for anybody to really win. It's really on pure driver's skill. And it's on the team hitting the setup the right way. In my opinion, Ricky Stenhouse Jr., other than maybe wrecking the car and not being the cleanest driver, I would consider him to be a very talented race car driver in the top half when it comes to pure talent-wise in the Cup Series. But if JTG can hit the setup perfect, Stenhouse will be very competitive. I honestly think he will get a top 10. I will bet money on him getting a top 10. But I would not be that surprised if he's up there competing for the win on Sunday. But let me know, who do you think is going to win at Iowa Speedway on Sunday? The first ever event at Iowa Speedway in the Cup Series. I really hope. It is a successful one. So go enjoy the race at Iowa Speedway on Sunday. Welcome, NBC. NBC is back. That's great. But that'll do it for me. Thanks for watching. My name is Kyle, a.k.a. Racing Boy Short, saying peace.